Nothing can ruin a trip quicker than traffic. Congestion, waiting, getting nowhere. When what you want is the open road. The same applies to the people who build the roads. We want everything to run smoothly, efficiently, and to get where we're going on time. And this time, we can say we have. The Chindera Bypass Project has changed the way people travel between Queensland and New South Wales. What was once a notorious bottleneck will now be a free-flowing carriageway to benefit both highway travellers and the Chindera community. Much of the success of this project is thanks to the expertise of the New South Wales Roads and Traffic Authority, Barclay Molam and Borrell. The old bridge crossing the Tweed River at Barney's Point has served this gateway between the states for many years. But as vehicle usage continued to rise above 25,000 per day, another longer term answer was needed. The new six lane Barney's Point Bridge will accommodate growing numbers of Pacific Highway users for decades to come. While the bridge is both practical and spectacular, just as impressive is the planning, innovation and quality of construction that has gone into the 5.8 kilometre dual carriageway deviation around the township of Chindera in northern New South Wales. The work on the Chindera Bypass dual carriageway deviation has had to satisfy the widest range of policies, communities, environmental and transport needs. It's a project designed to serve and built to last. Planned and designed by the Grafton Office of the Roads and Traffic Authority, the crucial task of paving and finishing the carriageway had to be given to experts. Barclay Mollum are a construction company whose reputation has been built on quality and efficiency. As builders of the pavement and of other finishing works, the quality of the road surface materials used was of paramount importance. Borrell have led the field in the supply and application of natural resources and construction materials in Australia. As Barclay Molum's major subcontractor, the Chindera Bypass proved an excellent opportunity for Burrell to apply new and tested road pavement expertise. This $70 million project is a result of extensive studies and public consultation carried out by the RTA. In order to reach the most suitable and beneficial design, the Tweed Council, National Parks and Wildlife Service, University of Queensland archaeologists and the local Aboriginal Land Council were all sought for advice. A project of this scale has infinite avenues for information to become lost or for things to go wrong. Good, clear communication has been essential. The RTA, Barclay Molum and Borrell committed themselves to positive partnering, a voluntary process which has seen each organisation gain from a sense of ownership and from constant consultation and communication with its other partners. This partnering charter was agreed upon by all to represent all the keys to seeing the Chindera Bypass completed effectively, safely and on time. Among the first partnering exercises at this time, it has proved a success in dealing with everything from budget agreements to preserving the worksite landscape. The Chindera Bypass Carriageway is an engineering success. A success not only because it has been built to last, but because it was built safely, effectively and ahead of time. The pavement itself consists of a 150 mm concrete sub-base, overlaid with a 4 strata 215 mm layer of asphaltic concrete. A ready and consistent source of material was needed on site for this construction, which would ultimately consume 90,000 tonnes of asphalt and 24,000 cubic metres of concrete. Burrell's concrete and asphalt on-site batch plant ensured continually tested quality paving product every working day. Barclay Molum employed the use of their CMI concrete paving machines allowing pavement 10 metres wide to be laid in single passes. 
the asphaltic concrete was laid in four layers, each tested to ensure its suitability to heat and load stresses and for noise reduction. A smooth, defect-free surface was Barclay Molum's and Borrell's primary goal. And this pavement was accurate to within fine tolerances. Two asphalt paving teams could cover the 10 metre concrete sub-base in one pass, ensuring a faultless travelling surface. This carefully researched pavement will support the passing of 300 million axles for heavy traffic for 30 years. The Chindra Bypass was an opportunity for Barclay Mollum and Borrell to exercise new and innovative technology. This German-made slip-form concrete machine is one of only three in Australia, allowing safety barriers and median strips to be completed quickly, in place, right on time. The abutments at the Barneys Point Bridge are faced with Borrell's keystone masonry blocks, which support a high-density polymer geo-grid system of soil reinforcement. This system has proven ideal not only in strength, but in looks, and this is one of the first places in Australia to use it on such a large scale. The structure has been fully instrumented to thoroughly study its behaviour during its initial service. In order to minimise noise pollution from the working carriageway, Barclay Mollum oversaw the installation of a variety of custom-designed noise attenuation measures. Each aspect of this project has been designed to benefit every user. To this end, the RTA has strived to ensure that the works have minimised adverse environmental effects. The carriageway passed through a section of designated coastal wetland. To compensate, a major environmental package was negotiated. As part of this, the RTA purchased 26 hectares of land and have overseen the planting of 30,000 rainforest trees. A further 13,500 wetland species were planted within the adjoining areas, and Fingalhead Dune Care assisted by planting some 5,000 wetland trees near the Fingal Loop Road. This forms part of over 100,000 landscape plantings in all. The scented Acronychia is an endangered tree species. When a population of these scented trees was discovered on the bypass route, the RTA instigated studies to determine how to relocate and preserve the plants and to gain further knowledge of this rare species. Consultations and investigations began with local botanists, the National Parks and Wildlife Service and the Universities of New England, Armadale and the ANU Canberra. Cuttings were propagated at a local nursery and together with the transplanting of trees, the project has proved an enormous success. A commitment from all workers and subcontractors saw all construction traffic and travel restricted to the job sites, further minimising damage to this sensitive area. The view of Mount Warning, the beauty of the wetlands and the culture of the local indigenous people have all inspired the artwork design complementing the Chindera Bypass. Mangrove roots, mountains, stringy bark canoes, images that combine to give this unique construction a strong sense of place and identity. The final pieces of road furniture are put in place. Wire guard fences are installed. Architect designed landscaping is completed. Turf is laid on embankments spectacular artwork lighting is finalised. The Chindera Bypass project has been a success. The strong partnership between the Roads and Traffic Authority, Barclay Molum and Borrell has yielded many rewards. Levels of productivity have been consistently superb. On one day alone, 1,250 cubic metres of concrete was batched and paved. Worker safety was an active priority, resulting in no time losses to injury. The project has met every expectation as a carriageway which will last, which will accommodate growing traffic levels, and of which both users of the highway and the people of Chindra can be enormously proud. 
Barclay Molan. Borrell and the New South Wales Roads and Traffic Authority have brought the pavement and finishing works of this enormous project in on time and on budget. It was a project combining skill, planning, innovation and a commitment to a partnering process that will doubtlessly prove itself just as effective in the future. The Chindera Bypass, a vital asset to travellers and a credit to the team who built it.